12,000 Ohio students are racing to find new schools after the Electronic Classroom of Tomorrow, or ECOT, closed last week. Thank you for staying with us at 530. I'm Ellie Merritt. I'm Mark Taylor. The state and courts have ordered ECOT to repay $60 million for overstating its enrollment. Now, the school's appeal to that is scheduled next month, but today lawmakers are pushing legislation that would require schools to turn over student records upon request. NBC4's Courtney Yoon reports from ECOT in Columbus tonight. Courtney? Ellie, Mark, that new legislation would, re would require public or private schools to turn over student transcripts within five days of that request. Families with ECOT students say they're still devastated that their school has shut down while they, while they search for new options. Representative Tavia Golonsky says current law states that school transcripts must be transferred immediately, but it doesn't specify a definite number of days. She hopes House Bill 418 will change that so transcripts are transferred within five days. Representative Golonsky says she worked as a former magistrate for Summit County Juvenile Court. And my experience is that if you don't make an affirmative statement again in the law as the legislation does, then some schools, including ECOT, could take as much as an entire school year before transferring records. So far, parents and students have not reported issues with transferring their transcripts. Representative Golonsky says she hopes to expedite the bill's progress and says with the public's help, it could be on the floor for a vote by Wednesday. With the closure of ECOT, we need some demands. We need action steps in place to make sure that our, our families don't just uh, languish. Melissa Phillips has two daughters that were enrolled in ECOT. They're one of thousands of families looking for a new school. We're very devastated. All of a sudden, you know, we get a notice that they're closing down. What do you mean closing down? It's pretty sad because I've been there for almost six years now. Now I have to go to a different school. Phillips says she's hoping to enroll her kids in a new online charter school this week. To me, it's like the school boards and everything just don't care. It's about money. And that's not the way it should be. Columbus City Schools is hosting extended hours for families to enroll into their district. Their special enrollment events will be this Thursday from 4.30 p.m. until 7.30 p.m. and Saturday from 8.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. at their Central Enrollment Center on Cleveland Avenue. Local for you in Columbus, Courtney Yoon, NBC4. Courtney, thank you. Now, the Ohio Department of Education has resources available on its website for ECOT families. You can click on Find a School to learn more about schools near you. You can even search by county, see schools in your home district, private schools, community charter schools, even other online schools. We have a link for this on our website at NBC4i.com.